Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Vijay and I am a Microsoft MVP specialized in SharePoint. Recently one of my subscribers said me to create one video on what is exactly SharePoint online. That's the reason I am creating this video and here we will try to understand what, what is SharePoint online. What is SharePoint online in Office 365? Some people asked about that thing because there is a confusion on what is SharePoint online and what is Office 365 and how these two are interrelated. And then we will see some of the features that uh, SharePoint Online provides and we will see how we can access SharePoint Online free. Whether can we access SharePoint Online as free, we will discuss on that. And then we will see uh, SharePoint Online Plan 1 and Plan 2. There is two plans are available only for SharePoint uh, Online specific. And we will see how we can access uh, SharePoint Online URLs. So now let's get started. So first let us see what is SharePoint Online. So the SharePoint Online is the cloud version of SharePoint. So like SharePoint, we can use SharePoint Online to store, share and manage content. So the only version, the only difference is that we will be using the cloud environment of SharePoint. Previously, if you'll see, not previously exactly, now also people who are using the on-premises version, in those scenarios, they have to install everything in their on-premises, in their organization, within their fire firewall. But here, we are accessing everything in the cloud. But the feature-wise, everything we, we are doing the same. We are creating the site, we are creating library, we are do uploading documents, we are, cre we are uh, creating list to store information. Everything we will do on that. So only as a developer perspective, uh, on high level, you cannot use server side code, but on the other side, there are a lot of client side code are available, which you can use. And next, some people uh, ask me about SharePoint online in Office 365. But before going to that, are you interested to learn SharePoint? Here is an, uh, I, I just put one slide to discuss about the SharePoint training courses. I have some SharePoint online training courses which uh, the link I'll put in the video description and if you are interested, you can uh, enroll, enroll over there. There are training courses for SharePoint developers and SharePoint site owners. And as of now, there are more than 100 hours of training courses I have added uh, with different courses on SharePoint SPFX Power Platform, which is uh, of course your Power Apps, Power BI and uh, Power Automate. And then also I have a courses for SharePoint site owners, how you can use SharePoint effectively. And then uh, I have also course for an index for Office 365. And uh, these courses are lifetime access uh, and also regular updates will come. So if you are interested, you can check out the description, the link and the discounted coupon will be there. Now, what is SharePoint Online in Office 365? So as I said, SharePoint Online is the cloud version. So as we know, Microsoft Office 365 or uh, the Microsoft 365 now is the cloud solution from Microsoft. It provides various services that we can use online without installing anything in our machine or uh, in, a, in your laptop or desktop. So it provides various services like your Word, Excel, Outlook, PowerPoint, Microsoft Forms, Power Apps, Power BI, Power Automate, Microsoft Teams, all these services. There are a number of services you can use online without installing anything in your uh, in your premises. Now, the question is then, what is SharePoint Online in Office 365? The answer is simple. It is a service, like any other services provided by Microsoft 365 or, or Office 365. So, it's a, it's, it's a, if Office 365 is a complete package, then SharePoint Online is just a services that we are using. And any organization who is having Office 365 license, they can use SharePoint Online. Now, next thing is we will see the features. What exactly SharePoint Online provides so that I will choose SharePoint Online rather a SharePoint on-premises environment. First thing is the cost. Microsoft is completely managing the SharePoint Online environment. So the organization don't need to put any money on managing the server or managing your SharePoint environment. So if you will actually uh, look the other side, if you will try to install SharePoint on your local machine, then you have to buy your hardware, your software, licensing cost, then your maintenance cost, update, patches, everything will be taken by yourself. And for that, the more or the bigger farm you have, the more also admin team you have to put. So there is a huge amount of cost associated with that. And uh, 
then new new features so if you are using sharepoint online then you will get lot of new functionality or the features from microsoft which will be available which will not be available immediately on the on premises environment unless and until you uh, they will release a patch or you will upgrade to the next version you will not get those features immediately and there are as of now there are a lot of features which are available on the sharepoint online the user experience is not available in in the other uh, on premises environments so it will take time to come those environments those features to your premises environment and uh, as i said no maintenance headache is there so you are not going to maintain anything let's say some patches came or some updates required then you don't need to actually take any headache your microsoft team will do that in the background you are you, you will you are going to use your sharepoint online as you are using everyday life so that thing you will get, you will get it and then the sla is 99.99 percent so there are a lot of uh, cloud data sensors uh, where office 365 research so you are you will be having up time up time always the security it has the highest number of certifications in term in terms of that security so your your sharepoint content or the data is secure in microsoft uh, sharepoint online environment another point you have to understand here is the migration headache imagine you are using a sharepoint 2010 environment and now if there is a sharepoint 2016 came or 2019 came now you will be having an headache to migrate these things to your next version or the latest version now the migration process is not that simple there is lot of dependencies lot of time it will take and there is a all together a separate headache for a migration activities if you are going to take but if you are using sharepoint online then uh, the new features will keep on coming and you don't need to really migrate from one version to another version and uh, sharepoint if you are using by any chance you are using sharepoint on premises versions and you are now trying to move to sharepoint online then there is a migration tool also available which very limited functionality but at least you can move your documents from your local uh, Uh, drive or from sharepoint on premises sites to sharepoint online or to one, one drive so that is a tool that has been there also which is known as uh, sharepoint migration tool and the modern sites if you'll actually look at now the modern uh, experience that it has there will be uh, sites modern team sites and communication site which you can use uh, for your organization home page and if a user will see they will not be able to uh, recognize that these are the sharepoint website because typically in the previous versions the website if a sharepoint developer is there or if if some some guy knows little bit of sharepoint then they will check the home page and then they will be able to tell this is a sharepoint site but nowadays whatever the sites are coming and also there are web parts are there which you can use to actually uh, customize your site and you can give a very rich look in very less time with, without any a code with the out of box features that are available on that so these things you will not get immediately on the sharepoint on premises environment and also the web parts the number of web parts that you have in on uh, online is not that same there are very limited web parts are available on on your on premises environment so these are uh, quite few features that you can use um, and there is number of reasons to use sharepoint online in your organization apart from that there is a question comes can i use sharepoint online for free the answer is no it's not a free, free product you have to have a subscription there are two things are coming in in terms of organization if you are using one thing is office 365 subscription and another one is there is plans which are specific to sharepoint online those are there are two plans are available sharepoint online plan 1 and sharepoint online plan 2 now on this office 365 subscription you have number of uh, you have their plans for or subscription for different different categories for example for home for students for enterprise uh, for government organizations for non profit organization there is lot of things are there i'll put a url and you can check that in the video description and the other one is there is sharepoint online plan 1 and plan 2 uh, subscription which are uh there is no other services are available except your sharepoint and onedrive so onedrive for storage they usually provide and uh, sharepoint features you can use let's say as a startup you have uh, uh, already office applications in your organization then you don't need to do that so in that case what you can use is you can just take the sharepoint online plan and you can just use the sharepoint online features 
Now on this, basically if you'll see here, these two plans, one plan is uh, SharePoint plan one, which is uh, where it is for the small organizations or the mid-sized organizations. And uh, the licensee cost is uh, five USD or US dollar for user per month. If you are going for a one year subscription at least. And uh, you will be able to access uh, your SharePoint online and OneDrive. As I said, both the things are available on SharePoint plan one also. And you will, you will get one terabyte of OneDrive storage per user. And you will get 24 by 7 uh, phone and web support. While on the other side, your SharePoint plan two is for enterprise level customers where you will get a lot more things apart from the plan one features. That means you will get SharePoint online, you will get OneDrive, you will get unlimited storage in plan two. And also you will get the DLP capabilities where you can protect sensitive information in your organization. Apart from that, you can also use the in place hold feature, which you can, uh, which will actually preserve your content from deletion or from addition. So these are the enterprise level features that you can use. And then next, the SharePoint developer program, which actually you can use it for free. Let's say I'm a developer, I want to develop something, then there is a program available where they are giving now Enterprise E5 licenses and up to 25 users you can create, you can do development, you can do your R&D, you can uh, develop apps, everything you can do on that. Only thing is that is for developer purpose. And there is a unlimited trial. That means as long as you are developing, if the trial will be auto renewed by Microsoft. So it, it is free that you can use, but you cannot use for production use. And now how we can get the SharePoint online URL. So if you have uh, the site URL, if you know the site name, for example, HR or finance or IT, then you can actually get uh, like this. So your tenant name dot SharePoint dot com slash sites slash your site uh, name or the URL provided you don't have a custom domain set here. So this is the default, the URL that how it comes. And if you will actually go to your tenant name dot com, the page will come where you will see your recently used site, popular site. So th there you can actually, if you don't know the URL, you can just click over there and you can get it. Or you can, if you are administrator, then you can uh, check the SharePoint online uh, admin URL where you can go to tenant name hyphen admin dot SharePoint dot com and in those scenarios it will be actually open the SharePoint admin URL where you can see all your sites for the entire organization and this access you will not get uh, this is very limited people will be having admin access for your SharePoint online and most importantly any URL we tap you type in the browser it will ask you your credentials so that means your office 365 subscription is important you need to have a username and password then only you can access it. So I hope you will you got an idea on what is SharePoint Online, what are the features, how we can access it, and as a developer, how we can use it. So if you like the videos, kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel. Do like us, comment, and also this is, this is our Twitter handles. You can check it out, LinkedIn and Facebook pages. So thank you and have a nice day.